Um, one thing, one thing that I'm uh, that I sometimes ask um, is, uh, you know, when you're directing uh, a model for a photo mm -hmm. shoot, um, <clears throat> what you know, when I when I'm uh, talking with uh, narration students and when I'm uh, uh, getting myself prepped, I often uh, will say, okay, consider let's go right back to the origin of this craft, which is storytelling. Mm -hmm. And let's go to the closest thing that, uh, to, to campfire storytelling that I can think of, which is let's say that somebody really, really dear to me and somebody who really is a prime uh, lover of this market, let's say that they are in the hospital and they are bedridden and, um, they aren't able to you know, read with their eyes and they aren't able to do much. And I sit down and I take out their favorite book, which is the, mm -hmm. or you know, their favorite author, the next book by their favorite author. Um, and I start reading to them. Um, and the, you know, and just the mindset that puts me in makes me so ready to tell this story and to savor the story and to you know, deliver those those surprises and those uh, those characters. Sometimes I'll even when I'm recording and I will obviously edit this out. Is mm. I will say, and I encourage my narration students also to to say this. Get this. This is just the beginning. Okay, here we go. You're gonna love it, and then go into it. In terms of directing your models and even self-directing uh, when when you're uh, when you're posing for uh, for book covers or mm -hmm. or anything else, what what how do you coach them? What's uh, what sort of mindset do you get people? It's in? a very similar thing to what you just described. It's I try to set a scene um, in their mind. So I I shoot in sets. So when we when we do a shoot, I have a list of stuff that we got to get through for for a session. And normally first timers, obviously it's a, the lang longest session because we try to get through as much as possible in a short amount of time. Um, but it's different themes, different genre tropes, different elements like that. Um, and so what I try to do each and every time is set the scene up. And it, 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 it could either be, because it's really tough when they look at, at the camera, which they're looking at me. So I'm trying to get them to, say, you know, I'm trying to be the part of the, the heroine in the book or something okay. like that. And I'm like, look at me like you, you're trying to close the deal, you know, that, that kind of thing. And it's, um, it, it, it really does help them, I think. Because also sometimes by doing that too, you can get genuine laughter and genuine smiles out of a model that doesn't normally like their smile or normally like the pictures. Um, but by doing that, you can kind of get those genuine emotions across and then just click the button while, while they're not paying any attention. But it, it does get that um, captured and it's a lot easier, I think. And by doing that too, you kind of um, lighten the atmosphere because a lot of shoots can be stuffy. I've been on sets and they've been kind of very dry and very humorless, just like we're here to work, get this shot in. And again, it's those, those posed looks that are kind of stiff. Mm -hmm. um, I, those kind of shots, I think, come out of that. Um, whereas you want some levity, you want some fun, you want some emotions, and then the model really gets into it. They, you know, oh, I'm trying to seduce this person over here. Let me get that look on, let me get that face on. And it comes across so much better. Um, so yeah, I get, <laughs> I get lots of looks through the camera. Everybody says they're jealous of the camera lens. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I just get there, push the button. They do it. They do all the work. It's yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah, definitely. Yeah.